It is Wednesday. Um, oh, I forgot to get that list. Dang it. It's one thing I did forget to do. Okay. I need to get a list of birthdays for all of our employees. For our office manager up at the shop, Ron's wife, Michelle. Today, one of our employees had a birthday page. She turned a big 23. And tomorrow is another employee's birthday, which we didn't know about. Because, but I have all the birthdays. So I'm going to go write them all down so we have a list. So yes. Uh, I had to go up there today to the shop, deliver all the toilet paper I had, have a meeting, have a little uh, phone class with Michael uh, out of Florida, learning out QR code stuff. Oh boy, I'm, I'm confused, but uh, it'll be all right. Um, Paige has got to get some stuff straightened out in there, and then tomorrow sh they're going to talk to him again, but I don't have to be there apparently. So that's good. And I just got home, fixing some things in the system, get a deposit ready for tomorrow. Gotta love deposits, but I do have bills to write out too, so. Don't like bills. Kitty's in her box taking a bath. Everybody send good vibes to my cousin Rudy. He is in the hospital right now. He had to spend last night and he'll be spending again tonight. His platelets are really low. Apparently they're supposed to be out 50,000 and yesterday his was at 2. As in the number 2. Not 200, not 2,000, just 2. And uh, and it went down to 1 and then he had to do IV therapy last night. It's only up to 4 so it didn't jump it up very much. So he's got to stay and do more IV therapy and his steroids are higher. So Rudy for watching. We love you. The poor kid. He's gone through so much. He's a strong little dude, though. So good vibes to Rudy. Other than that, it's all really has been going on. Tomorrow I, I should go. Our, our refrigerator is pretty bare right now. Pretty much all that's in there is what we cooked the other day, which was potatoes, carrots, pork. We haven't gone grocery shopping in a while and filled it up. But I don't really know what to buy. Like today we did stop at Aldi. I did not go in. Dad just went in to get water because we were out of cases of water. Cause we That's all, you know, we don't buy cases of soda. I will be for my party. I'm going to start watching for soda sales for the party. Kind of stock up a little on soda and water. Um, but we're big water people. And sweet tea. Um, so yeah, that's all I bought was three cases of water and a chocolate cake because apparently dad can't go into any store without buying some kind of baked good it seems like. Although I will say it is a really good chocolate cake. It was like a triple chocolate cream bunt cake. A lady who works there who also goes to the Legion told my dad, whenever you go in there, try one just try it now he'll probably buy one every time we're out because it is a very good cake so if you see the little round it's not it's not like three nine it's a small little cake chocolate chips on top chocolate cake very good at Aldi we went over by the lake today really calm very calm um Stopped and used one of our coupons for buy a chicken dinner, get one free, so we that for lunch, like late lunch. Kitty's chilling in her box. I'm thinking about chilling next door box because I'm tired, man. It's five o'clock in the afternoon and I'm tired. I always say I'm going to take a nap. Very rarely do I ever do it. I'll lay down and relax, but I don't really fall asleep. Maybe we'll... Sleeve is... There we go. Once in a great while, it'll happen. I really like when you take a nap and it's like the best sleep ever for like two or three hours and you're like, I slept like the dead. I love those naps. I maybe get one of those every six or seven months, but man, they're glorious when they happen. Glorious! Hi, Kitty. Are you down here now? Hi. Hi, Kitty. She's down here rubbing down my leg. Are you, are you mewing? 
Are you mewing? She uh, left a little surprise for us when we got home in front of the toilet. She yacked up a little tiny hairball right there, didn't you? I heard Dad go in there and he goes, oh, Kitty left the surprise. Well, I'm glad it was there and not in the middle of my bed. I hate the middle of the bed surprises. Oh, I hate when she yaks on my bed. Kitty, I hate when you yak on my bed. Take note. Take note. I got to the shop today. Billy's been in his pen lately because apparently he's been a big a-hole to everybody so he's he's been put in his cage. He's got a big pen out, out the out back. So um, we got there and I go in the office door. There's a big Rottweiler face looking at me. Uh, Ron had his dog there, uh, Mason. I haven't seen him since he was a puppy. He's, he's four now because he doesn't take him to the shop very often and I, I've very seen him. But man, he is just huge. I'm talking huge. <laughs> He's a, Ron's always liked Rottweilers. He's always had Rottweilers as long as I can remember. And oh, he just, Mason just wants to pace and pant because there's so much going on. There's so many people and he didn't know what to do. He didn't jump on you. He's not excitable that way. He just, he'll come over, try to lick my hands, lick my hands. Oh, he's a nice, he's a sweet boy, but Boy, he just roams in pants. Didn't know who he wanted to go to. Go see. But man, he's a he's a big boy. Plus, Ronnie has two older dogs. A black lab and a little, not a little, Diesel's a English bulldog. He's the oldest one. He's like the grumpy old man. Kind of like Heidi's the, a grumpy old woman. Mason's a grumpy old man. And then you have Mason, a four-year-old, who wants to play with the grumpy old man. Sometimes... They get into it. <laughs> um, I should have took a picture of Mason today, but I didn't. I was so focused on work. Just we were talking and figuring out what needs to be done and um, what's happening. What are you doing back there? Hey, you, she's trying to get in the bag of goodies from Canada. I have it in the big gift bag back here sitting at the end of my bed. So every once in a while I'll pick it up, pick something out. I'm still working on these. I'm going to have Jack try these when he's here. Because Jack is the one coming next week. He is coming from Florida. He's flying in on Monday. I pick him up. Uh, at the airport down the road from my house. Shannon, you know all about that airport. So that'll be fun. He's got other friends, like some over in Illinois way he's going to get to go see, and then one down in Indiana a little bit. So he, there's several people he's going to see. He's actually staying in a hotel, a brand new hotel. We just pulled the toilets out of that project maybe three weeks ago, because I, I just got their check for their last bill. And I think it just opened last week. So he will stay in a hotel that has the new smell. I'm curious to see what it looks like inside, because we'd had toilets out there for well over a year so um yes as soon as he showed me the link of which one i'm like hey i know that place they had two of our toilets for a very long time <laughs> so that'll be interesting but now i'm gonna roll out i think i'm gonna go hold the bed down maybe watch a few videos play a couple games just chill Sometimes relaxing is just as good as trying to take a nap. I'm trying to convince myself of that. But I gotta go get birthdays out first. Email that to her. Then I can go do that. So, I hope you're all having a good midweek. What's happening the rest of the week? I don't really know. Depends on, like tomorrow. I wonder if Dad and I can go to the movies tomorrow. I want to check out, he wants to go see the one with uh, Morgan Freeman and the old guys, we're going to rob something. Maybe we'll do that. Although Chris Pratt from Guardians of the Galaxy is staring back at me from my computer screen right now. I do want to see that, but I want to go see that with my friend Nikki, so. Or maybe next week with Jack, you never know. But I'm going to go.